what separates the casual Jane Austen fan from the aficionado? Is it the number of times she's read Austen's novels? Or her consuming love for Mr. Darcy? She finds her way here to the world's only immersive Austen experience. And yes, I know I'm wearing a medieval dress and a pioneer bonnet, but basically that's all I had. It's not official Jane Austen, but it'll do. I'm back. I'm Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and I've returned from the Regency era to talk about my film review of Austen Land. So Austen Land is a movie about Jane, a girl who's obsessed with Jane Austen. Now we all know those people. They've read the books a million times, they're obsessed with Mr. Darcy, they fall asleep to the movies, they have a Mr. Darcy plushie. Hmm. Sounds a bit like me. Austin Land is a place for those people. It's a getaway in England where all your dreams can come true. You can wear gowns, you can go to balls, you can take strolls around the gardens, and yes, you can even find your own true love. For a price. So our heroine Jane is played by Carrie Russell, it's good to see her, and she's finally decided, you know what, I have to go, this is awesome. But unfortunately she can only afford the bronze package, which basically means she sleeps downstairs next to the servants, she gets a really crappy gown, if you can call it that, and her backstory is that she's an orphan with no fame or fortune, who will never live up to anything, and most likely won't marry rich and won't find her true love. So very quickly she realizes, this isn't what I bargained for. You get to pick your own names. So Jane picks, doesn't get to pick her name because of the brawn package, you know. So her name is Miss Erstwhile, while her fellow guest and companion is named Miss Charming. Miss Charming paid for the platinum package and basically all her dreams come true. She has a huge wardrobe and everything is going right for her. So Miss Charming is played by Jennifer Coolidge, who is hilarious. I love absolutely everything that she's been in. You might know her from A Cinderella Story, she was the stepmom, or she's the bend and snap manicurist lady from Legally Blonde. Yeah, she's awesome. So basically, if you've never seen her before, she's a bigger comedic actress, she kind of has plastic surgery, I looked at pictures before and after, she's looked the same the past 10 years, but she is so, so awesome. So you really get these two different people. Another thing I loved about Jennifer Coolidge is that she's trying to play the part, you can tell obviously she's not a huge Jane Austen fan, but she just did it because it was something to do, and uh, she can't quite get her accent right, I mean everyone's pretending to have these British accents, and uh, she's doing more of a Cockney accent, there's one part where she calls someone a saucy Monkey, and uh, it's just pretty funny. And then there's just another funny line, you know, in her voice. She's she's standing there trying on a dress, and she, she puts her hand behind her back, and she says, "Look how skinny I look with my hand behind my back." I mean, it's just filled with really, really funny moments. You know, you have these Jane Austen elements and people pretending to be Jane Austen fans and players, but then you, you realize they're in the real world. So you know, one part that's funny is the actors. Actually, you know, when it's all said and done, they go behind the scenes, behind the house, and they actually have a pool that they hang out with, and it's really funny because some of the guards, you know, have their wigs on, and they're just laying and tanning, and so you kind of get to see both sides. You get to see the characters playing the characters, and you get to see the characters, you know, when they're off the clock, and so I thought that was really fun. This movie, it's kind of predictable. I mean, someone goes, and they want to get a Jane Austen experience, and most Jane Austen experiences involve love. So an interesting thing about Austin Land is the play of fantasy versus reality, because you're paying to go to Austin Land to experience this Jane Austen experience, and that involves finding love. But the people who you're finding love with are actually paid actors. So they are paid to fawn on you and pretend that they love you and say nice things to you. And you know, you start falling in love with them, and Jane does. And that's really interesting because after this week is over, they're not gonna be interested in you, girl. So that's sort of interesting. I mean, do you play along with it and after it's done just say, meh, okay, it was fake, but it was fun, or do you really start falling for these people? So that was kind of cool because I think a lot of people kind of get involved in that. I must admit, while I thought this movie was a bit predictable, it completely wasn't. So if you're expecting a specific happy ending, mm, just wait and see. So actually in my screening, there were only three men in the theater and they were press. Everyone else was women. So one specific thing that they've done for the marketing of this movie is they're focusing only towards women's groups. There were a lot of book clubs there and women organizations. It was really cool. During the film festival screenings, the only people laughing in the audience were women. Like no joke, no men were laughing. And so that's why they're sort of focusing on these women groups and saying, hey women, this is your humor, you get it. Men, hey, let it be a GNO and you go watch something else. 
So definitely if you're a guy, I wouldn't really recommend this. It's just going to kind of go over your head. You're not going to find it funny. I'm sure already by the premise you're like, uh, no thanks. So yeah, definitely this is a girls' night out movie. It's definitely for those who are huge Jane Austen fans or just any Jane Austen fan. You will get and understand this movie and love it. I really recommend this movie for women because I honestly want anything Jane Austen that I get my hands on and this was Jane Austen but put a fun little twist on it. It's just a modern day Jane Austen tale and it's really, really fun. So if you're a guy, pass. If you're a woman, go see it. So thanks for listening to my review of Austen Land. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about Austin Land, and if you were a guy, honestly, what did you think? Because I'm really, really interested. So thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out therotoscopers.com for the latest animation news. And until the next movie review, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube. Oh, and definitely stay for the end credits, because there's something a little unexpected in there, which is really fun.